Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Tuesday. It's a uh, high 40s right now. It's going to hit 60 degrees today. Bright and sunny, slight breeze, and I got stuff to do. I've got uh, one of my piles. I like putting piles around here of pick up later when you figure out where all the stuff goes. But that is one of those mattress springs. And yeah, I was trying to grow some peas on that. Didn't work. But uh, I'll try it again. That's for sure. So yeah, and there's uh, tomato cages and all kinds of other stuff around this tree. I think this tree is going to go. So I'm going to clean up around it. All the stuff is cleared out of there. Now, uh, that little clump of green stuff are irises. And this area is probably going to get bulldozed. Uh, very soon, I hope. <laughs> Depends on the weather. So, I'm going to dig those up. Bob, do you approve of that job I did digging up the irises? Yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe 20 or so. And those things uh, stay right at the surface. So you just got to get underneath them and lift up and use the potato fork. and That'll work. Now uh, they won't get bulldozed. Oh, hey, Fifi, we need to do a shout-out. First one is for Two Seeders Micro Farm. Two Seeders Micro Farm. They've been following me for a while and commenting, and, yep, they've got a good old channel going, so check out Two Seeders Micro Farm. Now I'm going to attempt to move the kitty cabana and the other stuff around there in case that tree in back of it uh, decides it wants to go also. More work. All right, the area next to the water well has been cleared out and I got some of the brush around this tree. And it looks like there's a few more irises over there that need to be rescued. I don't know what kind those are. They didn't bloom this year, so... Hmm. Grump, he's already found the new spot for the cat house. Yeah? Where's that Fifi? The sun is right in my eyes. You're hanging out during the day. That's pretty cool. Who's over here behind me? Bob's coming. Yeah, they're both outside today. I kicked Grumpy out. It was time for... Oh, and there he goes. And there goes Bob. See, that's why I don't like bringing them. They won't catch each other. Anyway, enough of that clip. <laughs> hey, number two, you blend in with those... Those ten chicks that I hatched pretty well, you're about the same size. <laughs> yep, see, even the big boy rooster over there agrees. We need another shout out, number two. I can't... <laughs> the roosters keep interrupting me, and I can't remember who I was going to give a shout out to. So what I'm going to do is type it, and it's going to be at the bottom of the screen right here. So a shout out to that channel. <laughs> Go have a look, right, number two? Right, big guy? Okay, this is where I planted those lilies the other day. Last video, whenever it was. <laughs> that was not a how-to. 
I just stuck those into wood chips for the most part. Uh, there were some leaves in the bottom of those. Anyway, those tires are only about six inches deep and I planted them, you know, maybe uh, four inches deep. So they're only like two inches from the soil. So as long as they, those wood chips stay moist, those roots should reach the soil and they should be okay. That would, that's not the best way to do it. What will happen is I'll stack uh, leaves and stuff on top of it and even rake up some dirt here. But as it rains and gets wet, that uh, the leaves on top will, you know, the particles will break off of there. They will sink down and those tires will be full of soil within a matter of months, I would bet. So yeah, that's probably not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is put them in soil right from the beginning. But what I, all I'm doing is just building soil. It'll get to, it'll get to them and their roots will, their roots will spread out in the meantime. At least that's the theory. Now woodpecker's still hanging out. It's probably a red-bellied sapsucker. I could be wrong. But it's probably a red-bellied sapsucker. Another quick project was to put up a bird feeder. That's a bird feeder that I haven't filled up in months. And so, yeah, the birds are kind of showing up again. It's fall. I'm seeing more birds. So I thought I'd fill up the bird feeder and put it out here. This is, I'm on the peach. It's on the peach tree. And uh, I put the second bird feeder out back. This bird feeder is just hanging off the top of this bed frame uh, spring thing on the back side of where I relocated the kitty cabana. These two are my twins. They're five months old. They're two of the five cockerels uh, that Vicki Lawrence hatched. And I'm not keeping both of them. I think I'm keeping the one on the left. It's got a smaller comb, smaller waddle. Uh, legs are more yellow and uh, shout out below I'll put the name of the channel on the screen the link will be below as we watch these two five-month-old cockerels pick out uh, I believe Mary Tyler Moore is their mother when they were young they were mostly lavender they didn't start adding the gold and the orange and the uh, black and white stripes, some emerald green in there. They didn't start adding those colors until uh, until they grew up. But yeah, they all, both of these dudes started out as lavender. So I think I've got a bunch more that are going to look like this when they grow up. Oh, that's just how it works. Yeah, you're going to look like them when you grow up. And you're going to look like them when you grow up. The older they get, the less lavender and the more other colors. This tree is coming down, so I want to try to remove that uh, birdhouse. There are uh, eastern bluebirds nested in there last winter. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I can find a place for it close enough that they'll uh, they'll do it again. I got the one birdhouse taken down, and I grabbed another one. That one, uh, Bell helped me pick out a place to put that one up, but that tri tree might be going. So I grabbed both of those, and I'll have to find them a new home. The back of this one, uh, the red one, well, it's not the back of it. Anyway, there's no way to get in there and clean it out, so... I don't know. I'll probably just put it up because I can. And uh, one of these rainy days, I should build some more birdhouses. All right, that should be it from Bobblehead Homestead for this Tuesday. A lot of little projects here and there. What is that? Oh, that's a neighbor's dog running. I did see a deer yesterday while I was driving around. It's on the side of the road. It wasn't very big. There goes the woodpeckers. More birds. Yay! Yeah, it's uh, probably hit 60 degrees today. It was a lovely day for getting stuff done, which I did. Okay, take her easy, everybody. And just when you think you're done for the day, what's he doing? I think he's moving some of those big logs off of his place. But uh, 
He came by on his tractor with a mattress on it and said, Hey, I saw you using a mattress to try to grow stuff. You want this one? Yep. So I'm going to cut that off of there. Cool. Not a bad 10 minute project, making a future trellis out of an old mattress. And he's gonna come back for the, for the cloth stuff and do whatever he wants to do with that, but I'm just gonna keep the metal. It's not done, there's still that uh, trim around the edges, but I can get that later. Cool? Okay, now that will be it for this Tuesday. Yep, I think that's gonna be it. <laughs> oh boy, this is one of those days where I'm just tuckered out, but it's going to feel good. Hopefully I can sleep tonight and I'm not too sore. You just never know. But it sounds like tomorrow something may be happening with the trees. We'll see what the weather holds. It won't be done tomorrow. It might not even be started, but it might be looked at tomorrow. Anyway. <laughs> You'll, uh, you'll see it eventually. I can't share all my secrets. What fun would that be if I don't have surprises? Okay, take her easy. <laughs>